Listen, I'm taking a big chance today. I understand I can alienate most of my audience, but that is the uh, Jewish prayer for the dead, and I'm going to continue to play it. I'm going to read the numbers out of the number of Jews killed by Hitler and the German Nazis in World War II because the American media has fallen silent on such a primal issue. An issue such as this should never even be questioned. Everyone understands this. The men who fought in World War II, who broke the camps open, the concentration camps, came back appalled by what they had seen. Uh, and for the Iranian Hitler to be repeating this over and over again, and as I speak yesterday, he held a conference on the Holocaust, and David Duke spoke there. One of our own pride, pride and joy, David Duke went there. A Jew hater came from America to speak there. An ignorant fool like him goes there and speaks before the Iranian Hitler. And uh, there's no counterpoint in America. Every time I read the article, I, I want to I shake the so-called journalist and say, Stupid idiot, what are you doing? Why are you saying President of Iran denies Holocaust without showing the pictures? You stupid idiot, you empty skirt, you. You have the power to show the pictures, you empty skirts. Who are you afraid of? Who are you answering to? Who in your newspaper won't let you run the picture? Why, I'll give you the answer. The same person who will not let you run the pictures of the people jumping out of the windows of the World Trade Center. The same people who won't let you talk about... The, the uh, airport imams, the shakedown artists, the same people who have uh, put you into handcuffs with your little job. But I'm not going to do it. I have no handcuffs on me. Go on to michaelsavage.com, and I want you to do something for me. I want you to download those pictures on the right. Click here to see Iran's attempt to commit another genocide while denying the Holocaust and the Jews. michaelsavage.com. I don't make any money when you click down. There are no ads on it. Nothing from the putzes at Google. No Google ads. I wouldn't have those vermin on my site. No liberal ads on my site. I don't need them. I don't need their money. I don't need their tainted ideas. No. It's not for money that you're going to click there. Click there and take a look at the pictures and um, pass them around. And then think of the young Jewish mothers, 20, 21 years old, with little babies in their arms, little infants, little tiny pink infants with tiny little hands that this scumbag in Iran, this piece of slime, this slime mold from Iran, I don't know how the Iranian people could produce slime like this. The Iranians were never like this. But it just shows you what a toxic cocktail radical Islam is and what it does, how it poisons a mind. Uh, that this man could get away with this with the help of Reuters and the American media is, is the part that's incomprehensible. I know there are David Dukes. I know there are Holocaust deniers all over the world. I understand who they are. These are the unwashed, illiterate uh, invertebrates of our time, the, the human invertebrates. That's okay. It happens. But for the American media to keep repeating what he says over and over and over without countering it with the pictures from the gas chambers is the part that gets me crazy. I have as much contempt for the American liberal media as I do for him. KNEW, San Francisco. Hank, you're on the Savage Nation. Michael, uh, long-time listener. Uh, Eisenhower marched the German people and, you know, in the villages through the chamber, you know, the death camps and stuff, because he knew, he said, they will deny. They will deny this. And he showed it to them because he knew. Yeah, I've seen, the, I've seen the footage. I've seen it on the History Channel. And I don't understand why this is not required viewing in our schools. I don't know either, Michael. I... You know, the, you know the answer. Why? Do you know why they will not show the Holocaust, uh, the documentary footage in our schools? Because then the children are liable to say, "Oh my God! In World War II, our soldiers and our airmen saved the world. Our military saved the world." Do you understand how far it has gone that liberalism will go out of its way to downgrade our military to such an extent? that all others must also be denied uh, in their place. Do you, do you understand what I'm trying to say here, Hank? Maybe I'm, I'm losing it and not saying it as articulately as I normally do because I'm so emotionally wrapped up in this attempt to commit another Holocaust while the world sits by silently. But the fact of the matter is, these pictures should be shown to our children. The pictures of the people jumping out of the World Trade Center should be shown from the first grade through the twelfth grade. 
and the pictures of the hijackers chanting to Allah and the, and the killing of Nick Berg as they chant to Allah should be shown to our children so they understand. I live in per peaceful Marin County filled with the sickest people on the planet. 99% of them belong in a mental hospital. They're, they're on drugs. Their children are on drugs. And I see a boy drive by with a guitar going to play in some, some garage band, some 17-year-old nothing. And he has on his car, peace, no war in Iraq, anti-U.S. this, anti-U.S. that. I felt like running up and pulling him out of the car and saying, you moron, if uh, this country was as anti-military as you are, you would have been a lampshade or, or, or you'd be speaking German. He wouldn't even know what I'm talking about because of the, na the, the National Education Association. Michael, I know exactly what you mean. I mean, I live in San Francisco, and I took on a table of my friends about the ACLU. One of my buddies, he's from uh, Manhattan, and he was telling me he just uh, gave $100 to the ACLU, and... I kind of gave him a, a little bit of a spiel, stuff I've learned from you. And uh, put it this way, I wasn't very popular in San Francisco that evening. No, you're going to lose your friends. Hank, the first step on recovering your life is to stand up to liberals, and you'll find out how intolerant they are, and they're not really your friend. Oh, they, were just toler they were just tolerating you, Hank. Anyway, let's stick to the big topic here. Your main point was that General Eisenhower, then President Eisenhower, made the German citizens walk through the remains of the concentration camps. I saw the footage of the good German women vomiting in their handkerchiefs as they were forced to see what went on a mile from their home. They smelled the smell of human flesh coming out of the uh, out of the smokestacks. They made believe they didn't. Yeah, I Thank you, know. Hank. Well, anyway, I am not going to stop. And if you're sick of this, I'm sorry. I apologize in advance. There's nothing I can do but give you what's important to me. Six million Jews were killed. And he wants to kill them again. Savage.